everybody and uh welcome back to my channel today is tuesday april 14th um and this week we're just gonna do a little bit of a vlog because i'm not really sure what else to share with you guys um i'm running out of ideas my creativity is completely zapped these days um but let me catch you up on what i've been up to for the last little bit You've probably seen my posts uh, about masks. You guys were the ones who inspired this. I'm not going to lie. I hadn't planned to make any. Um, mostly because they, at the time, um, the Canadian government wasn't recommending to wear masks. And now they are. So I feel much more comfortable offering that as an option. Um, I have been making, last week I made like 50 masks. And... Um, this week I'll probably make 50 more uh so yeah that's that's what I'm doing um and I I have to address something because I saw a comment on a post and I've deleted the comment because it was put there to be overly cruel and um I don't want to have people thinking this way of me because that's not my intention at all and it called me an opportunist um and i was only making masks because they um because it would keep me in starbucks and taco bell um and also that they weren't professionally made they weren't um good looking I don't know like it's a face mask it's meant to be functional to start off with um everything like all of the materials that I make everything out of literally everything the business the backbone of my business is that everything is out of recycled materials the or like thrifted new materials so like for example this is a brand new roll of elastic. I found this at the thrift store, still sealed, okay? Still sealed in plastic. It has 300 meters of, el of elastic on it. And I've been using this to make the face masks. So because I thrifted it does not invalidate it from being a usable material. All the masks I make are sanitized before they even leave my house, and when you get it, you're gonna wash it too. So, like, they are professionally made. I own a business. <laughs> like, I own a business, and I'm not just some home sewist. I have been making things for my business for over 10 years now. Like, I may not be you know, at mass production level. I never want to be at that level. The products I make are ethically produced, okay? A fair wage is worked into that. So if I ever have to pay somebody to make them, like I can't keep up with the volume, I can pay them as well as making a profit for my business. Then my materials are sourced from thrifted places, so I support like thrift stores, I go to my local thrift stores. I can't do any of that right now, but I was lucky that before I, you know, before all the lockdown and all this stuff happened, I had thrifted a lot of stuff. I also had a ton of materials that I was had purchased for other things for projects to make clothes for myself or something like that and they're appropriate for making masks out of so I'm sacrificing those projects and not making the clothes for myself and I'm now using them to make masks so you know um I have also you know like I don't know I don't know what to tell you like I I really don't enjoy it when people um, put down my work at all like you can put me down and I can take it but my work is really valuable to me and I love making things I am a professional I have been trained in design and sewing pattern drafting like I am a professional um 
And just because you don't like the fact that I am fat does not invalidate um, my knowledge and my expertise. Just, I know what I'm doing. That's, that's all I have to say on that. Um, oh, I should let you know, the masks, um, I'm not sure if it was really clear with this originally, but I've made them specifically to fit like a larger face. Um, they have longer ear elastics on it. Let me, I'm just gonna get one and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is my prototype mask. Um, because it's the original one, it's not pretty. I'm just gonna say that. Um, also, like the elastic is sewn on the back because I originally had shorter elastics in here and so I just sewed it on the back as like a quick way to see if it worked. So just keep that in mind because this is my prototype. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the like features, I guess. So each one has like three pleats down the side here you know um this particular one is backed with like a gray fabric because i found that this fabric well cool to look at i like it um in fact this was my brother's curtains at one point in time um while it's nice to look at it's a little too thin to be two layers and to safely call it um a mask there is a wire in the nose here, like I'm not sure if you can see, it bends and then stays like that. So um, there's only a wire on the outside one, that way you know which side to put out. Then there is a pocket where you can insert a filter. Um, most people put in a coffee filter, I think. Um, you know those like flat ones that you put in I don't know. I don't drink coffee. Anyway, so, pleats. Then you have these ear loops. Um, originally, they were over an inch shorter, and um, that did not fit at all. So, when you put it on, I apologize now to anyone who um, needs to read this or do this with closed captioning. It's going to be muffled. I'm sorry. So, you put it on, and you loop it up over your ears and you adjust it so it's supposed to go under your chin and then over your nose and you squish it so that the wire fits okay so it shouldn't pull your ears forward and the elastic should be flat on your face here and here okay but it should be tight and it should touch your face here and there shouldn't be gaps it should not stick up like this it should sit flush to your face. See? Now, once you get it on and you've left the house, don't touch the front of it. Don't pull it down to talk like this. This one is mine and it gets washed. Apparently I have a runny nose. They don't all look like this. Um, I'm almost out of this fabric actually and I may be out of it by the time you see this um, because every bit of fabric I have is very limited. So um, yeah, I don't know really what else to tell you guys. I've been talking for like nine minutes and I feel like I just rambled. So um, on the to-do list today uh, is to edit and post my video that I didn't put up on Sunday. I just got distracted sewing and really forgot I needed to do that. So uh, then I had a Zoom call already that I went to because it's noon now. I think I need to eat some lunch too, somewhere in there. Um, then I need to cut masks. And uh, let me tell you, it's boring, but um, therapeutic. Then I need to sew masks. And again, boring, but you get into a rhythm of it. So, um, yesterday I had to go out and buy cello bags because 
and it was like not a fun experience the only place i can really buy them is the dollar store and um so i bought a bunch of packages i normally don't buy these i don't pack any of my products in them but for the masks i am packing them in the cello bags because it just adds like an extra layer of security to make sure that when you get it it's not going to be dirty or anything like that you should wash it when you get the mask anyway um and that's clearly outlined in the product description um but considering i got an order yesterday for 19 masks and i don't have 19 cello bags left i need to get more um there's uh, 24 in each package um so there's over 200 cello bags here this should keep me going for a little bit um but see i only had like this little bit left um yeah so that's that i had to get those um at some point in time oh i do need to um not today though i need to cut print and cut um some thank you cards to go in um, this is my receipt it's a business expense so gotta save that um i also had to get envelopes um because uh actually these are the perfect size envelope to put one or two masks into um and it just they fit perfect and i already have some um i have like pre put my like return address label on there i'm not showing you my address because that's for my house um, but I need to get more of these too. So that was an interesting experience, the dollar store. Um, they had someone basically counting the number of people in the store um, as they came in. And as they exited, uh, they had hand sanitizer. There was no real signage on like following the flow of the store. Um, but there were so few people in the store that while well, you did run into people and everybody was very cautious. Um, it was very easy and I seriously like I felt like I cleaned them out I went in grabbed every last small cello bag they had they had larger ones but um, I don't need them they're too big um, considering I individually pack each bag um, or each cello like each mask um, then uh, I needed more of these envelopes um, so and there's 10 in each pack so 10 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. I got 130 envelopes. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to sell like 130 orders, but um, I had um, like 30 orders last week, and it's Tuesday, and I already have seven orders. So, like, yeah. Anyway, I just want to be prepared. Um, I can use these for my other products too. Um, and so it's not like I won't use them. Um, I already had them on hand before um, as the ones I was using. So, yeah. Anyway, had to get those. Um, I don't really know where to put these though. I don't have like a good storage solution. So, I don't know. I'm just going to set them up in the window for now. For now. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to go get some lunch. And I'm going to continue filling out my bullet journal maybe. Um, this is what it looks like for this week. I have um, my lemon tape at the top. And then I used um, this plain washi as a divider then i put these like clippy stickers things on there i had already filled this out one before i found the stickers so yeah um i normally order my return address labels from vista print um but the shipping on them is kind of a lot if you're only ordering that one thing and so i have sticker paper i have a cricut i'm just gonna cut my own print and cut my own um and we'll see how that goes i also want to um use the card stock i have already to print and cut my own thank you cards because i'm trying to use what i've got already 
Um, and I also don't want to include a ton of packaging if I don't have to, but last week I was handwriting thank you notes and it just took a lot of time and I'm trying to be efficient so things can be done faster but with still the same amount of care. So I've already designed the thank you cards so that they can, um, so that they can, um, still have some, like, you know, have someone's name on it and I sign it and stuff. Wednesday, I think, yes, maybe. One moment, let me check. Shoot, I closed my bullet journal without putting the thing in. Okay, um, we had Easter dinner yesterday. Okay, cool, it is Wednesday, and today we have a lot to do. Um, Okay, uh, I first need to do an Instagram post, just a quick story, um, nothing that's really a big deal, um, I don't know. Uh, I need to cut a lot of masks today. I need to edit a photo, um, I just took of some fabrics. I'm just using, um, Lightroom Mobile on my phone, and you guys really can't see it because... I wasn't holding it up. Um, if you airdrop photos directly off your phone, um, apparently they're not in the right file type. Um, it's like a completely different file type to what I'm used to. And you can't upload it anywhere. So um, you have to edit it first um, before uploading it to like youtube thumbnail or into canva or into shopify so um no that's better oops no i don't want to i have to crop it first crop there we go this time i put a ruler in so people could see how big the um size of the pattern is i'm not sure if you'll be able to even tell but yeah Hi everybody, um, it is Thursday, and right now I'm actually watching an Instagram live of my friend Sherry, and, uh, cutting. I'm still in my pajamas, so, yeah, I'm just gonna keep cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting until I can't cut anymore, then I'm gonna do some sewing. Alright. All right, so I have sit, sat down, been sitting down, I don't know, um, for a little bit to sew. Um, I'm just going to set you up there for a second. Um, so I'm working on masks, like I have been for like the last three weeks, two weeks. Um, and yeah, so I don't really have much to report. Um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff already cut. So, this is my stack on the corner there, there, plus this stack here of green ones, um, and I have some other gray ones beside it. Um, those are just ones that are pre-cut, so I can sew them as they're ordered. It helps if I cut a stack and then I count them, then I put those ones into my inventory, um, so they're ready. That way I also don't get overwhelmed with the amount of orders I get. So I can still achieve getting things out the door in a timely manner. So, um, right now, basically if you, um, orders run until Thursday at noon so that I can pack and ship things, um, 
on Fridays, so I only go to the post office once a week and make local deliveries once a week. Um, so this means that if you order between Thursday afternoon and um, yeah, if you order sort of Thursday afternoon until Thursday at noon, like the following week, we shipped the Friday. So because today is Thursday and it's, I don't know, like four o'clock, I think, 348, um, everything ordered up until noon today will be shipped tomorrow and delivered tomorrow. Um, I do have a bulk order for a business here in town um, and so that's like 19 masks and um, you can do that. Um, a lot of places are limiting the amount of masks that you can purchase. However, um, I am essentially just saying being open to bulk orders so like if you need to order for your workplace or you want to order a whole bunch to be able to hand out to people or something like that totally fine maybe send me a message first or um in the company line at checkout just let me know like it's for a business or something like that um but if you you'll still get like really cheap shipping so like um because you're ordering over four of them um you or four or more you get upgraded shipping for free mostly because I can't send um, more than three masks at a time by letter mail so I just upgrade the shipping there's not much price difference um, on my part so you do get them faster when you order four or more um, but you don't have to pay more if you're ordering like 20 of them for shipping it's the same price and I just cover the rest of the cost so um, because I don't like I don't want to have to do calculated shipping rates um, I just find them tedious and they're way more expensive than what I charge because they're not letter mail so anyway um, yeah anyway that's what I'm up to this here is my um, list of how many I need to make actually most of these are already sewn and packaged just some ones that have the word cut next to them those are the ones that I need to make um, because they're new ones. The rest are all ones I already had in stock and sewed last week, so that's pretty nice. It means it's a bit easier of a week in terms of sewing for me. Um, but I will sew as many as I can um, in order to keep ahead of things. And also, the more I sew, the more I can donate. Hello everybody, happy Friday. Um, yes, I am wearing the same clothes as yesterday. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, it's Friday evening, almost 7 o'clock. And I just came on to wrap up the video because um, I forgot to take you guys with me for deliveries today. Um, I went, I had five well, technically four different locations, but six orders to deliver. So I had someone order twice for a large order of like 19 masks. Then I had someone order and have it delivered to their friend's house so they could deliver to them um, the way they live outside the city. So yeah. Um, what else do I have to say? Um, I signed up for the content planner workshop for early May. I think it's May 2nd. It's on a Saturday. I'm really excited about that. It's a virtual workshop. I have had the content planner for over a year now and I'm obsessed. It's how I keep track of what videos I'm going to post and what blog posts I'm going to post and um, launching things for my business and you know all that. But I really want to take her workshop so I can be better with my content and planning and hashtags and all that. Hello. Apparently I cut my cuticle. 
recruits like a bitch. Um, yeah, so signed up for that. I'm really excited to take that. And um, I'm right now sort of um, I'm trying to invest in my business as I can. It's not like I can really go anywhere or spend um, the money I'm earning um, anywhere. So I'm trying to spend my money on local um, businesses and invest in my business. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. And I'm petting the dog's head as she's uh, standing down here beside me. Um, anyway, uh, that's really all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog. You guys tell me all the time that you like my vlogs, but I'm never really sure about um, how they'll do. So if you like this type of video, please make sure that you give it a like um, at, you know, some point while you're watching it. Urgh. And, um, yeah, give it a like, leave a comment, share it with your friends. All of that really helps get new people to see my videos, and I appreciate you doing that very much. Please don't lick my face. Thank you. I don't know where you've been today. Oh, mm. Abby, I love you so much. Yes, I do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's enough of that. Can I put you down now? Good girl. There you go. Um, she just needs some love, and I have been gone most of the day. Well, not most of the day. I left around quarter to 11, did all my deliveries, then got to pick up my Mio Gelato order, which they are a local gelato shop, and they figured out how to sell their gelato online for a local delivery and pickup. So, um, their pickup, my pickup time was today, and they were open from like 11 to 3, and I just, um, drove down to the store, which is just around the corner from the store that I work at on the weekends when it's open, and so I picked up three pints of gelato. Who knows? You'll have to check in next week and see if I ate them all right away. I've not had any yet today, so, um... Yeah, so I got to do that, and I got to see Tammy, the owner of the store I work at, because I was dropping off a mask at her house. We had a lovely conversation while she stood on her porch, and I stood at least 12 feet away <laughs> on the street. Um, so I had some social interaction while I was doing deliveries, and then I got to come home and chill out for the afternoon, which has not been the case the rest of the week. The rest of the week I've been pretty go, go, go. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I've rambled on some more. And I don't think I have anything else to say. Oh, um, okay. So, more mask stuff. And I'm sure you're tired of me, like, talking about it. But, um, it's pretty much the only thing paying my bills right now. So, and the more, I mean, that's a pretty blunt way to put it, but, like, it really is paying my bills, and it really is, um, it's something that helps people while also helping me, um, so that's, you know what, I, it's just, it's working. It's working, um, for my business and for me, and it means that I am able to pay my bills as well as help other people, so, um, if you need a mask, they are available to shop all the time. There's new fabrics added all the time. But if you order over the weekend, they're shipped on Friday. So if you have up until noon on Thursdays to order in order to get it shipped the closest Friday, if that makes sense. So if you were to order on Sunday when you'll be seeing this video, then it will come out the Friday at the end of the week. Or it'll be shipped to you at the end of the week on Friday. Uh, if you're local to me in the Kingston, Amherstview um, area, then you get free delivery. You just have to let me know. And we'll choose that at checkout. And, oh yeah, if you buy four or more masks, um, so say you make a bulk order for like, business so that you your staff are protected or whatever you need to do 
um, or you want four masks for your family, um, your shipping gets upgraded from whatever you paid for it to tracked shipping. Um, because I physically can't mail f like more than three masks by letter mail. So I am eating the extra cost of shipping it by tracked mail and it means to get it a little faster and it means um you know where it is because it has a tracking number so anyway that's all i gotta say thank you guys so much for continuing to purchase the masks and support me as well as being so kind in the comments and um if you like this video like it and if you want to see more from me subscribe and i will see you guys next week bye <laughs>